we want to show that b is the multiplicative inverse of a. So now what exactly does that mean? Well if you recall if a times b is going to be the inverse it has to look like what? Well it's going to have to have 1, 0, 0, 1. So it needs the 1's on the diagonal. So that means that what we need to do is we have to show that a times b equals that as well as b times a. So you also have to have that ba is the inverse. Again, you want the ones on the diagonal. So if we can prove that those two things are equal to what we have right here, then we can show that b is the multiplicative inverse of a. So this is nothing new. We're still doing multiplication. So I'm going to write them out. So I have a first times b. And we know that's a 2 by 2 and a 2 by 2, so our answer is going to be a 2 by 2. So remember, we've got our little brackets. Now I want row 1, column 1. So I'm going to do 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. And then I'm going to do 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, 1 times 2 is 2. And then I've got 1 times 1, minus 1, minus 1, plus 2. So then I want to simplify this, and I get 1 and a 0, and a 0 and a 1. So far, so good. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video, and I want you to do b times a and come back and check your answer. So now that you've done b times a, you should get what I have in pink down here. And we noticed that these two are the same, so this equals this, and then now we can say that b is the multiplicative inverse of a.